Folks, I don't know about you, but I grew up with photo albums. Photo albums for all your fun adventures, your camping trips you went on, and I think it's upside down, your birthday parties. This is what you used to do before cell phones and computers. Sit down on the couch, open up a photo album, and look at all the beautiful memories. Well, I haven't put together a photo album, I think, since my college trip to Europe with my buddy Marcus. Paris, all sorts of awesome adventures, probably one of the best extended international trips I've ever done. Met some really cool people. I think these guys became professional hockey players. Not exactly sure. That was Barcelona. That is Rome and that is the Louvre in Paris. My recommendation, travel while you're young before the responsibilities of life sometimes creep in. Anywho, I'm not against showing people a cell phone, but I wanna put a photo album together. And my brother and his wife actually started doing this with printed out pictures. And I think it's really cool because it's just sometimes easier if people are over for a cup of coffee you hand them the photo album and they can scroll through it. If you hand them your cell phone, they're gonna look through like four different pictures and get bored. It's just our nature of our scroll mentality, but a photo album is different in my opinion. So I have a solution for you with that said. Introducing the Linny, I believe you pronounce it, L-I-E-N-E -E portable printer. And this is the Amber 100 four by six photo printer, your typical photo size for your photo album. And I'm seriously pumped on this one because I have a lot of photos that I wanna put in an album for some mountain biking rides, memories, and let's face it, like sometimes it's kind of a hassle to like go to the store, find a store, print them out, etc. This, you're gonna do it all from the comforts of your couch. Let's go ahead and check out this here, our manual. They do give us photo paper. We're gonna get into what that is. All right, let's pull this guy out. And if I forgot to mention, this thing is super compact and small. They give you what looks to be a nice long power adapter here. Nice and gloss white, a little plastic all the way around it. Kind of looking like your MacBook type of a power adapter. Guesstimated length on that is about four, four and a half feet, tip to tip if you are wondering. Looks like they give us about 25, I'll double check on that, but about 25 photo pieces of paper to print your photos all ready to rip. This is gonna be your printer cartridge. You got your loader tray here and your printer right there. That's a good looking printer. All right, we got some nice little design to it on top here. This is where our printer cartridge goes in on that side there, coming around, a little ventilation. Photos come out the back. Looks like a USB type C. You got your power adapter right there. And of course that. So not much to the device. So let's go ahead and load it up, read the directions, pop in our cartridge, and we're gonna start printing out a really sweet photo album for this year. Alrighty, first printing of a photograph here. This must be the process. So it laid on, okay, yeah. Kind of scared you for a second there. Laid on the yellow first, and it's gonna go back and forth a couple different times and get the right colors on that photo. So this process is super easy. Okay, I think that might be the final go around because that's what my photo looks like. Actually, it looks like it's going through one more time here. And so this was a nice little double rainbow outside of the house. And it's not too loud either. It's not like your regular, you know, really loud printer. That's actually a really good quality photo. That's straight from my phone and that's cool. So you do have these little edges that do rip off and it is nice and glossy. The photo paper, this is the photo paper that came with the printer and it actually only came with 20 sheets because it's 20 sheets max that you can put in here. And we're gonna talk about that just in a little bit. Super easy to set up over Wi-Fi, and I literally printed it off of my phone. So that's pretty cool. So that came out as a four by six. You still have a little bit of edging. So right there is where you would cut that off. So I have it plugged in, I turned it on, and then after a little bit, you're gonna see a orange for the Wi-Fi indicator. You go on your mobile phone, go on your computer, however you wanna print this, you connect to the Wi-Fi settings. It will have a default password. It's all in the instructions. And I literally was on the gallery. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you right here. So let's go ahead and print something that I actually want to print. Uh, let's see, yeah, how about me just shredding my mountain bike right here? Okay, this is super easy. Now, if you wanna edit the photo, edit it right here because whatever we print is the final photo in your gallery. That's how it's gonna come out. So this was unedited. This was just my Samsung. Samsung Flip 3. Okay, so how you do it in Droid, come down here to the bottom little three little uh, dots, and the bottom one is print. 
hit print. Now, I'm gonna cover up the top here because it has the IP address of the printer, and I'd rather not have that on the internet, but it has the name Liney Photo Printer right up here. If you don't see that, this little arrow right here, tap on that, and then choose Liney Printers. As long as you're connected to that printer, it'll show up right here. Okay, paper size, I have four by six, orientation, landscape, color, double-sided, no, more options. Now, if everything looks good, your photo size, landscape, you're gonna go ahead and now, of course, you could do portrait if you have a really sweet portrait photo. So now, all we have to do is hit this little button right here. So, it takes about, I'm gonna guesstimate this again, but before it even starts printing that, again, this is all over Wi-Fi, it takes about 45 seconds, I wanna say, somewhere ballpark right around there, somewhere right around like 40 seconds to a minute flat. Um, I'll give you a guesstimation when this thing starts cranking on there. And again, the full print job takes about maybe 35 seconds, 40 seconds. I'll give you a guesstimation on that one as well. That's completely over Wi-Fi. You can also use the Liney Photo app, of course, Apple, Android, USB from a computer, Wi-Fi from a computer, or of course, Wi-Fi from a tablet, cell phone, etc. There is the QR code right there. You scan that for the Liney Photo app. But there is Berea right there, as you can see, underneath the double rainbow in front of the house. And lo and behold, here is Berea taking a delicious nap. We call it a siesta. We call it a midday siesta. Well, folks, having a little bit of an issue reprinting. This is a review video, and I'm going to keep this in because this is just the process here. So again, this is Android here. I've had about four defaults and printer errors using the Wi-Fi. I am connected to it without internet, of course, because there is no internet with this printer. It's just Wi-Fi connection. It still is lit up blue here. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. I'm going to try to restart my phone. I actually already restarted the device. Could be my device, so I'm going to go ahead and restart it and see if that works. Sometimes I do have issue with my Samsung device every once in a while, plugging it into computer, etc. Alrighty, make a long story short, I believe it was my phone. I'm not sure how to fix it quite yet. I've switched over to my other Samsung phone and it worked first time, but I will try it once again because my other phone worked the first time as well. And that was about 30 seconds flat by the time I hit go to it starting to print. And again, it will go four times through and then spit it out on the end there. And this one looks like this one actually has gone all the way to the end. So it might be an issue with my phone. I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you because watch this. This has taken the photo all the way up to the area here. Now with that said, now I have the border down here at the bottom. So that must be under setting. I'm gonna download the app and see if there's any issues regarding a full printout. But there's my electric bike and little puppy dog in the background. I like it. All right, depends on your operating system, but I really enjoy the app. As you can see here, it's actually showing me in live time, and this actually went through a lot quicker than my first couple prints here. This was literally within maybe six seconds. It started printing. So that was the yellow. Now we have the magenta. That's pretty cool. So it's literally doing that in real time. Excuse my mess, I'm in a full remodel. And here we have printing the Cayenne, zero through one. We have home right here. Do not exit the app during printing. That's pretty cool how it's coming together like that. And this should be the final shebang here. Now in the app, it actually gave me the option. Very cool, printing complete. We'll go look at it in just a second here. It says the printer is idle. Classic photos, ID photos, that's pretty cool. So you can do it for visas, USA photos, Japanese visa. That is a pretty cool feature so you don't have to go to Rite Aid or one of those like stores and stand there and take your photo. You could do it and then print it out yourself. That is pretty cool. That's over the app. Classic photos. This is where my album comes into play here. Now let me show you here. So let me click on my brother and I were shaping some surfboards. So now it's actually rotated here. Let me see uh, if that was rotation. Let me try this bicycle photo here. Okay, for some reason, uh, I don't know why it's going that way now, but it would print this full length here. Uh, so you hit this little pencil button and you can do borderless, bordered, Polaroid, that's pretty cool, or no crop. And then you can enhance it if you want, just like you could, you know, your regular things, edit it, filters, and adjust. Adjust meaning no crop, let's see, no crop. So it actually will bring it in and it shows you the border here. 
Polaroid. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it'd be uh, just printed out in a Polaroid thing so you can make your own Polaroids. You know what, we should try that because it actually looks like it's giving you a little bit of a border here. So you know what, we're gonna try that just out of curiosity, just in a second here. Bordered, so it's bordered and then borderless. Okay, we're gonna try Polaroid and we're gonna hit done now. And you can make a couple different copies if you want, um, up to probably however many you want. Looks like max nine, it looks like, okay. And um, something to keep in mind is that this printer, this printer can have five devices connected to it. So I'm using the app, I'm printing over Wi-Fi, but I'm using the app and I'm just finding it, at least for right now, my initial testing, has a couple cool features integrated in that app which is kind of nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit print, and I'm gonna be live right here with you. I said six seconds, so we'll see what happens. Preparing right here, we're at about seven seconds, nine seconds, 12 seconds, and it starts. That was still pretty quick. So maybe it was 12 seconds, but I'm finding that printing through the app is a little bit more dialed. Now I will try to print a couple more not having the app, on my phone I'm filming on and this phone and seeing if there's any quirks in it, but I'm using the same phone, but now I have the app installed and printing off the app and it's working great. I'm curious to see how this Polaroid one turns out. So let's head on over and take a look. Phone does not give me the option when I'm not using the app. So this was actually in portrait mode and that was actually taken on my phone in portrait mode but see how that's where you clip it off. So there's no border whatsoever. Very nice, good colors. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Polaroid. So the Polaroid comes out with a little bit of an edge. That's where you clip it off at the top there. And then it comes down and you clip it off right there down by my thumb. So it's a little larger than a Polaroid, still a nice little square, but this chunk right here is a little larger than a Polaroid. You would have to like chop that in half to be the size of a Polaroid, but still, I dig the square there. I'll probably put that in my van. I'm building out a little van life van right now. I really dig it. Okay, now I do wanna talk about the printing functions. So you can print with the USB type C port in the back. You can connect this to your computer, Mac or Windows, and you can print with the USB cable, and you can print on your Mac and Windows computer via Wi-Fi, but you can't print with the USB plugged into your phone, only a laptop or computer. If you're printing with your phone, you have to use the app or just Wi-Fi without the app and use your Apple or Android system gallery printing. And of course, if you have a tablet, you can do the same methods as a tablet with a cell phone. Here are the methods right here. At first, I thought you could plug in your phone and then plug it into the USB type C and print, but correction, you are not capable of doing that method. I don't know why you would if you can do it wirelessly. One thing I'm not seeing in the app is the choice to do it landscape or portrait mode. Most of all my photos are taken in landscape mode, except for that flower photo I just showed you. So if you do for some oddball reason, want to do it vice versa like that, and it's not coming out how you want it to on the app, then of course just go to your photo gallery, adjust it, because in the settings, typically you would have under enhance, you would have right through here, like rotate 180 degrees. That is one thing they do not have in the app, but hopefully maybe the developers can see this and give us that option. All right, tried again on my Samsung Flip 3, the first phone that I tried, and it's working now again. If you are having any issues, either keep trying or just use the app. Now this actually looks like I was checking in the settings and I couldn't find anything that gives me borderless. So I don't think I will be using my default method on my Samsung phone. I think I will be using the app because now it's giving me on my Flip 3, it's giving me those cut in edges on my Samsung S20 Plus. It gave me the edges on the top and with the app, it gives me options to not have this, so this saves me a little scissor cutting. Okay, I'm gonna keep printing. That's pretty cool. That's a really nice photo right there. So I cut it down the Polaroid shape a little bit better, and that would be sweet to display in your room, your van life, your adventure wall. Ah, I'm gonna start me an adventure wall. Photo album and adventure wall. This is actually so small I could take this for my van life. So. This is how you insert it. 
you flip down the bottom here. So let me go ahead and flip that up and pops back like this. Now, when you are just not using it and you're storing it, there's actually a small magnet. So that holds nice and sturdy on top of the printer here like that. And then when you're ready to go, might have to do this with two hands, but this pulls out, it drops down like this, and then that inserts into the printer right there. I was able to do that with one hand. Blue light means that you're connected to at least one device, but again, you can connect up to five devices using this machine. It will go into sleep mode, so just give it at one toggle to wake it up. Actually, I think it's in sleep mode right now. I do have one more test I wanna do. I wanna see if I can print on the app and the transmission going over will wake it up or do I have to manually tap that if you leave it plug in. All right, so it woke it up on its own when I did print, but it did say the device was not connected. And then I reconnected to the gallery once again, and then it worked, if that makes sense. So now I'm printing out a photo from a buddy, Joe. We're doing a little river surfing up there in Colorado. He's on the boogie. And there we go. Take a look at that. Little kayaker in the back. I like it right there. Nice colors. He's gonna like that photo. And here, let me show you while I got you on camera here. Let me show you how easy this is. And obviously just like any photo, try not to touch the main part, but once you flip it back and forth, those come off super easy, like so, like so. And this was printed off of the app having a complete full photo. Looking good. Well folks, that is looking good in my opinion right there. So I would definitely recommend, especially using Droid or the app, I definitely rather use the app myself. Just more features. And again, I like how the photos came out. I got, I printed this one out for my brother, that one for our buddy Joe. And now let's go ahead and look at my photo album here. I'm not done quite yet. Now they do have an option for a hundred photo sheets as well. If you do run out of photo paper, just order some more. I'd recommend some nice, highly rated ones for your refill. So we got my photo album here. We got my first springtime Colorado growth right here with some nice flowers. We got me shredding my mountain bike, full suspenny. Over here, we got my electric bike and my dog, Bria. And here we have Bria, of course, and double rainbow. We've already seen these. I like the convenience of being able to print from home, make my photo album, get a little arts and crafty. You could do something for Mother's Day, Father's Day for your folks. So overall, it's a thumbs up in my book. Once again, in the description box below, you'll see the link for this exact one. And I did just notice they offer a pink one as well for a little bit more. So check that out in the top link of the description box below. Click on show more. Description box will drop down. Top link will be the link for this printer. If you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind thumbs that video up on your way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like videos like this, as well with other tech reviews, DIY house projects, remodel projects, van life builds, river surfing, all the fun stuff. We will see you on the next video. My name's Chris. Take care for now. Your links are right below. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.